Hello everyone, my name is Amede and today it's been exactly seven years since first time I came to Taiwan. Because of that I made a short video that I want to tell you seven things that I learned here and perhaps everybody in the world should learn as well. So are you ready? Taiwan has population over 23 million people. It is comparable with the Netherlands, but at the same time, when people live in the Netherlands, they have little more area, less people, and they actually live all over the country. In Taiwan, this is not the case because most population is crowded in the west side. East side and central parts are almost inhabited. So because of that, you can expect those crowded cities with lots of people and lots of crimes, but this is not a case here. Taiwan actually is a very safe place. For example, if you go to the night market, you go to the department store, you use public transportation, there is no pickpocketing, there is no theft. And in case you lose your cell phone or your wallet, most likely somebody just gonna return it to you after a couple of days. Thing happened to me, I sometimes I, I leave my scooter keys inside and I leave the scooter for a few hours, they come back to the same place, the scooter is there and somebody put the keys inside my helmet to hide them from other passers-by. So I really consider Taiwan as an extremely safe place to live. The customer service in Taiwan is top-notch, hands down. People are very friendly, very helpful, and they understand your needs. Even if you go to the government office, the officers, they're gonna find simpler and easier solution for you if there are. And at the same time, it saves lots of time and lots of money. I can also tell you one time I went to the hospital to do the side test for my driver license and when I arrived there I realized I'm too late. But the lady there said, well, let's see what we can do. She went to talk to the doctor and she agree on doing the test after after her hours so i must tell that this is very friendly and that was so nice of them i come from poland where we do have a public health system but it's not as good as the one in here in taiwan for example the waiting times are very short sometimes if you even need to see a specialist you don't need to wait too long the other thing is most of the doctors are very professional and bilingual and not even mentioning the covid situation when the most of the world had to shut down taiwan was okay and even though taiwan is right next to china which is the source of the virus we have had no active cases for a long time which is great and which is thanks to the public health system here if you are a foreigner living in taiwan sooner or later you're gonna notice how healthy lifestyle is here i mean there are lots of people who go hiking or do exercise outdoors on daily or at least weekly basis. At the same time, you have lots of swimming pools where you can go and do water massage, go to the sauna and the tickets are very affordable, sometimes even 2 or 3 US dollars per adult with no time limits. Apart from that, Taiwan has lots of hot springs where you can spend your time in a relaxing and very healthy way. Another great thing about Taiwan is the public toilets. There are lots of them, they're clean, they're neat and even if you go hiking in the mountains you're gonna find some of them and of course all of them free of charge. And this is the good thing because for example, in Europe, we have places where you need to pay for toilet and some people just don't want to pay and instead of that they're gonna urinate on the street or in a park, which is nothing nice to see and nothing nice to smell. And this is one of those things we definitely should learn from Taiwan. Taiwanese is a extremely industrious nation. There are some companies such as Foxconn, Asus Acer that are world famous, but at the same time there are lots of smaller companies that do very well and they have huge impact on this world. For example, in 1999 there was an earthquake in Taiwan, which was very bad and lots of people has died, but at the same time lots of businesses have to shut down and for six days the Shinshu Science Park was shut down as well and they couldn't deliver memory abroad. Because of that fact, 
the price of memories on the world market tripled. This really proves how big influence on this world has Taiwan and its economy. And also, I want to say that in Taiwan doing business, starting your company is usually simple and straightforward. And if you make any mistakes on your way, you can expect that the officer from the tax office or government gonna come over to you, explain you what you did wrong, what you have to fix, and you are fine. Because, well, in other places, many times it's a case that before even you start doing anything, you need to learn a lot about the permits, about doing the paperwork, about filing taxes. You know, in some places, even if you don't earn any money yet with your company, you already have to pay taxes. You already have to pay insurance for, which is really difficult and very stressful because starting all business, it's, uh, it's, it's not easy anyways. And that's a good thing about Taiwan. The government at least helps you without involving in, in your things. And because of that, there are thousands of small, maybe 10 person operations in Taiwan where people export things worldwide. At the same time, there are lots of restaurants and other businesses all over who do very, very well. And other people, they do have a day job, but in the free time, they start own thing. And after a few years, they can start a very successful and profitable company. And this is great about Taiwan. And this is what people should learn. Don't get involved in other people's business. I have so many ideas and things I could say right now and right here. But the thing is, I want you to write a comment and tell everyone around what is the thing that people around the world should learn from Taiwanese. And this way they can hear you out. They can read your comments. So. Please do it, thanks for watching and see you next time.